about to show him that the G-Max Orbital is in fact the truth. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, this guy rocking the, the pink alchemy. Okay. Also, what's going on here? Love to see double opportunities for Intimidate with the competitive Milotic. He's got the Hitmon top and the Gyarados. But he's also got the Defiant Braviary. So honestly, I have no idea what this guy's going to want to lead at all. So we're just going to go Ore Beetle along with Milotic. Maybe Milotic comes in, gets intimidated by something. We can also put some stuff to sleep. So that's nice. Let's see. Other than that... I do kind of like just the sand, the sand duo. I mainly have Conkeldor on this team for other Tyranitars. Do I want to bring Incineroar or do I want to just bring the Sandy Boys? This is interesting. So what's he going to do with that alchemy? I kind of like Incineroar. Let's, let's bring the Incineroar. This boy's new. We're bringing the Incineroar. And then I think we're going to go Tyranitar. Nope. We're going to go Exegirl instead. Just kidding. Because they do have that uh, like Grimmsnarl around. So I'm thinking they're probably going to lead with like Grimmsnarl Braviary. I have no idea. But this should be, <laughs> should be an interesting one. I'm liking this team so far. Probably going to have to make some adjustments to it, but it's fun messing around with some new GMAC stuff that's available to us, so. Braviary Hitmon top, so. Not too bad. Um, my low tech now just gets that clean competitive boost. And Hitmon top probably going to go for the fake out on my low tech, which is annoying. Let's see how this goes. So there's that competitive. I'll take is ready to hex some stuff up, and it is time. So, we're just going to go right for that Gravitas, probably just on the Hitmon, Hitmon top slot. He likely just D-Max the Braviary. Um, if they want to get the fake out, they're going to have to take that big damage on the Hitmon top. And then let's go for the Hypnosis. Thanks to the Gravity, due to the Gravitas, we're going to be looking good, so... Let us see. We do bring out the big bird. Um, which actually just destroys Orbeetle. Which is definitely pretty threatening. You hate to see it. But if we can get this thing to sleep, that would be really nice. Definitely thinking fake out. A lot of the mellow take, but let's bring out the big UFO bug and just see. See how we do. We about to abduct some hoes. Yeah, so Brave Area will be first, and honestly that Brave Bird slot is uh Gonna go for the Max Knuckle. On to Milotic. Hello? What's going on here? This man wanted that attack boost. Maybe they thought I was gonna switch out. So we don't actually see the fake out from the hit on top. We just get that gravity up. Nice and clean. And, uh... Braviary fell from the sky. It would actually be cool if it showed the Pokemon actually falling from the sky when that happens, but... The UFO is the truth, because now we're able to hit Hypnosis. And him going for the Max Knuckle there was, was definitely iffy. I'm Max HP or Beetle, so I was kind of just... I wanted to see what was going to go on there. We did take a hit from a Durant last time, so honestly, I think we would have been alright. I don't know. But super nice being able to put that thing to sleep. Now we see the, the Chinchino. And, uh... Let's just go right for some more gravity. We could even Ice Beam. Kind of want to just muddy water. You know what, now let's, let's ice, beam, ice Beam on this Braviary. Chinchino is not nearly as threatening. Okay, with Rock Blast. Got that skill link, so that's annoying. But look at the Ore Beetle. Just eating it up. We're fine with this. Okay, critical hit. We're still fine. And, uh... 
Super annoying long animation. Why you do this to me? Another crit. Please stop that. I can't take... Can't take it anymore. Alright, so yeah, guaranteed. Stay to sleep first turn. Thank you for the hypnosis. So, that'll do some pretty decent damage. It's about half. With that life orb. And then the beam is going to be able to finish it off. So, we just absolutely handled that braviary. Listen, I'm all about America. We're just fucking up some bald eagles out here. Very nice. Also with some leftovers, it's like we never even took any damage. The Max Knuckle was interesting. He really wanted that attack boost with that Hitmontop. Wonder what that Hitmontop was even going for. But so Chinchino takes out the Orbeetle. But now with the Gyarados coming in, gonna intimidate again. So this man has seen <laughs> what the Milotic is capable of um, with that competitor. So special attack looking pretty nice. So this is when it would actually be nice to have that recover slot on Orbutal to be able to get a max guard. But what are you going to do? Um, we could even just go for the Hypnosis on the Gyarados or even actually... Yeah. Dungeon not going to go for the Bullet Seed onto Milotic. Which is interesting. Just don't get crits. Pokemelotic is fine. We deal with this all day. This is definitely the first Chinchino I've seen <laughs> on the VGC ladder. So we do live that, but does he double it with the Gyarados? He does. Goes for the power up. So that's a bummer, but he saw the Melotic as a threat, and that actually opens up Orbeel to get off another. Another G-Max move, so that's pretty nice. Feel the power of the gravity. And this is fine. So, down goes your Chino. Now, we can uh, probably just go into Incineroar first, just to play it safe, get an Intimidate off on this thing. Could even, like, Parting Shot. But, I don't think we really need to. So, he's probably going to want to go for... The Incineroar here, but after that Intimidate, you're looking a little bit hacked there, Mr. Gyarados. So we'll just go for that nice, clean Psychic. We can also get a Fake Out, which is very nice. Hey, Zusties! <laughs> or Zusties. Zesties with the 22 months. Yo, thank you so much for the resub, man. Almost two years. Insane. So the Fake Out's very nice. Get that guaranteed Flinch, along with a Psychic. Not able to do quite enough, but we have weakened this Gyarados. Since you're intimidated, we are fine. First few games ever using Incineroar in a VGC battle, you love to see it. No, oh, Incineroar doesn't even take half. The power of the Timidate. The Orbeetle gets that final kill. Love to see the team doing what it needs to. GG's. Incineroar is probably going to be on every team, but that's where Milotic is uh, looking super nice. So, I mean, there's answers to it for sure. I think the thing people mostly have to be worried about is the G-Max Lappers. Able to set up that, uh, that Aurora Veil with its move. More UFO shenanigans. What do we got here? Ooh, we see the Toxtricity, so might see the G-Max Toxtricity. Uh, also the Decidui, so a whole bunch of new stuff going on here. So that looks fun. Um, uh, toxicity does scare me. Makes me not want to lead with the Milotic. Kind of want to lead with the Sandy Boys, to be honest. But it's also an opportunity for Lucario. And this is uh, this is an interesting one. Got the Hydragon, also the Glycopod, so just so many, so many things. Well, let's go, let's let's bring the Orbeetle Milotic. They're probably gonna go with that Toxtricity, but then again, it's still pretty threatened by Excadrill Tyranitar. 
which I think I should probably bring as much as I like Incineroar. I think Excadrill Sandrush could be pretty nice here. So let's bring uh, let's bring the Sandy Boys. Let's get some UFOs in the chat. Which this thing's probably not gonna have the best time. The UFO, depending on if he leads with if he goes with that Toxtricity, just G Max right from the start. But I guess we shall see. This is where this team needs kind of some speed support. Decidueye and Galisopod. So okay. What's up, Ace Trainer Gutty? All right. So we see the Decidueye. First time seeing one of these things, which is interesting. We are going to... What is he gonna do here? Did we just Hypnosis the Decidueye? Also, do not see a whole lot of Galisopods either. I'm sure he brought that G-Max tox Toxtricity. The Rockstar. But... Let's bring out the UFO. I honestly, I really do like this, the... Super cool. Actually, also, fun fact, the first G-Max Pokemon I caught. First impression knocks me to half. My god. <laughs> but we do get some big damage off on the Decidueye, which is nice. And yeah, we get that gravity up. So, Milotic does actually outspeed as well, so we get that Hypnosis off. Nice. Thank you, Gravity. I don't know how Gravity would help Hypnosis, really, but, you know. <laughs> Alright. So... We could just knock that Decidueye out. Um, might just go for the damage on the Glycopod though. And then we Ice Beam Decidueye. So I guess I didn't really even need... I honestly thought this Decidueye might Dynamax. So we see that they're saving their Dynamax, which is generally a bad thing when we're kind of playing behind. Glycopod actually just goes for the Sucker Punch. We do live. We are bringing the gravity today, boys. It gives it that emergency exit, which, you know, it does suck because now it can come in and get that first impression off. Which could be bad for, like, my Excadrill. That brings in the Lucario. So, yeah, did not even need to Hypnosis the Decidueye. Kind of feared that thing a little bit more than I should have, I suppose. That boy too slow. Poor little Decidueye. All right. Hey, Master Mark VGC, rating with a party of 58. Thank you very much, Mark. How's it going, sir? So yeah, Glycopod just comes right back in. Uh, can just go for that priority. This is why I really need that max guard on this thing. Um, but we're just gonna click that damage. It doesn't really matter. Um, we can also go to Hypnosis on the Lucario. So. Actually, just gonna switch that thing out. And it goes into the Toxtricity. So, yeah, first impression obviously kills Orbeetle. Um, so, we handle the we handle the Toxtricity relatively well with what we've got left. I don't know if they even wanna save that. What are they gonna save for the Dynamax? Is the question. So, Hypnosis is just out here stirring things up, though, so that's nice. And we're gonna go. Do I want to go drill now? I think I do want to go drill now. My little out here still looking pretty nice. Uh, we just go for the horsepower. He has that Lucario in the back. And then, I mean, we could even just Hypnosis that Glycopod as well. Should we just be that guy? I mean, there's really no reason not to. Still have that gravity up. That's what this Milotic is here for. Pairs with that Orbeetle. Too nice. Battle was canceled. This man was afraid of the Hypnosis. <laughs> so, that worked. That worked very well. 
All right, people are afraid of the hypnosis. What do we got here? So this team looking pretty standard. They have a Melotic of their own. We've got the Dragapult. Got the Darmanitans. We're definitely bringing Incineroar. Probably not going to lead off with it, but... We're going Orb. We're going Milotic. Trusty. And then we'll go Incineroar. And then probably... Going to be Excadrill. I like it for the Grimmsnarl, Togekiss, and Whimsicott. So they got them fairies. The trusty, trusty team. Yeah, this team could use some Tailwind support. I might have to, might have to toss that in uh, at some point. I just didn't have, didn't have anything with me. Whimsicott could be nice instead of Conkelder. I really wanted to bring that Conkelder just because. I thought I would deal with a lot of more, a lot more sand stuff. So we see my Lotic Darmanitan, the shiny Darmanitan as well. So. Interesting. We see Scarf Darmanitan, Mystic Water, huh? Very interesting. We are going to. Let's go for the Gravity, and then we're also going to try to Hypnosis that Milotic. Not sure what this thing's going to want to go for, but. We do see that we Dynamax first, so. Not gonna see any Dynamax on their side. Should be able to guarantee we get that gravity up. It is about to start feeling heavy. Blizzard found a shiny Beldum and it killed itself with struggle. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Alright, Dormana Tank goes for the Rock Slide. I actually did a lot. Bringing out the Grav. Bad news is we also set up the gravity for their Milo Tank if they're also a Hypnosis. I'm considering running Coil on my Milotic instead, but I kind of like what we're, what we're working with. So we do get the Hypnosis off, so nice. Not necessarily afraid of the Darmanitan because we do have like Incineroar. So kind of just want to weaken that Milotic. We also do have the Overgrowth for that thing too, so. Milotic looking pretty nice. Orbeetle knows that we can take a hit because that Darmanitan is locked into the Rock Slide, so. Um, not sure if they're going to want to hard switch that Milotic out. Might want to do it into... I wouldn't, but we're going to... Let's just go for the Overgrowth on that thing, just for the safe play. And then we will also... Probably just collect Muddy Water. Or we Hypnosis into the other slot. Honestly... We're out here abusing this gravity. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen here. So they are actually going to... Oh, he's going to Dynamax the Darmanitan to be able to switch moves. So that's a good play. Um, but likely just targets the Orbeetle here. Unless they want to take out... I don't know if... This thing has anything to knock out my Lotic. They might be able to get a Hypnosis off on it. Just goes with the max flare. On the beetle, so that's a bummer. But we kind of forced him to go into that Dynamax. So that's not super bad. Gets a crit. Totally freaking mattered. Uh, the sunlight is kind of annoying because Muddy Water's a little bit nerf damage. Um, the bad news about bringing Incineroar in now is that we give... Oh my god, the Melotic does wake up. <laughs> we give the Melotic a competitive... So get that first turn wake on its Milotic, which is a bummer. But we get the Hypnosis on it to the Darmanitan, so we paid the price in losing Orbeetle, but getting that thing asleep is nice. So hopefully no first turn wakes on that damn thing. Got lucky on there, Milotic. So I don't know if I want to go Incineroar. We bring Excadrill in, we just have to double into that Melotic slot, but I don't know if we have enough. Let's go Drill. So I could Rock Slide to get some damage off on the Darmanitan. Um, but I think Horsepower and Milotic, probably the play. I, 
I'm sure that thing just lives. It's probably going to want to go for a recover as well. That Melotic is annoying, man. <laughs> let's uh, let's Iron Head this Darmanitan. And, you know, my Melotic is actually faster than theirs. So, yeah. We're going to get some damage off on the Darm. That boy's staying asleep. Sleepy Snowman. Iron Head for the big damage. And then... I don't know. It's actually going to go first. Oh, no burn, please. Thank you. Let's put your ass right back to sleep. <laughs> this Milotic is here to make things sleepy, so that's nice. Um, bad news is we had to take an attack there, so... Excadrill no longer has that sash. Need them to stay asleep here. Also need to start whittling down that, that Milo tick because we do not have much. With just the Incineroar in the back. So. We're gonna horsepower. And just Ice Beam. That melody is annoying, says the dude who has one on the field. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's understood. I mean, it's understood that Melotic is annoying. Oh, we actually do pick up the kill here with that. Nice. And it was actually a speed tie with our Melotic, so that's annoying. But. It's fine. Oh my god, I didn't die to that ice beam. <laughs> Bro. What in the hell? That literally did no damage. Alright. So we effectively used up that thing's Dynamax turns, but nothing more frustrating than playing against the Hypnosis Melotic, to be honest. So now we Rock Slide. And Muddy Water. Give her that double spread, and we're able to see. Ooh, stays asleep. Yo, the sleep is so clutch. Extremely clutch, some would even say. I should have clicked Recover. But if we missed one of the Rock Slides, we would have been in bad shape. So, safest play was just to go for the Muddy Water there. Now we get to muddy water their air, and uh, that's not going to touch anybody. So, I believe my low tick is looking is in pretty good shape against our team. We do lose the gravity there, so no more, no more hypnosis shenanigans. Honestly, the reason why I'm using this team is I got destroyed by this exact scenario so many times that I was like, I have to use the gravity hypnosis myself. Yeah, the Dom got the full sleep, so that was actually really, really unfortunate for them. So it's going to be Dragapult and the Togekiss. So, do I want to Rock Slide? Mm, I think I just want to Iron Head the Togekiss, to be honest. Could just go for the Protect on Excadrill here. I think we're going to Iron Head that Togekiss. And we're also going to go for the Ice Beam as well. Because we have the Incineroar in the back for the Dragapult. Yeah, and that thing just goes for the Phantom Force anyway, so that's fine. Get that big Iron Head. And uh, that just actually knocks it out. Doesn't have... Does not have the Steel Berry. So we definitely got really lucky in getting the full sleep turns on that Darmanitan, but... He also got a first turn wake with his Milotic, which he should have used a little bit, you know, better, but it's fine. So we're about to get Phantom Forced, which is A-OK. -okay. Because you have nothing for Milotic. Literally, one of the most annoying Pokemon in the meta at the moment. Because there's so many Intimidators running around. Getting competitive boost on this thing is super nice. Even if you don't get it, as you've seen here. Very clutch. So, Iron Head plus that Ice Beam is going to do it. Sorry to, uh... Sorry to do you like that. <laughs> but, we're out here using the most effective tactics available. The meta game, per se. When I found out that meta meant most effective tactics available, I was like, holy shit, that makes makes a lot of sense. Meta game. 